Hey folks, how are we doing? Got a little something to show you. Remember my Victorious? I actually have a second one coming coming in the mail any day now. But I decided I want to do something. I don't have uh, any blanks here or anything. So I just, uh, that's why you see me customizing uh, lately. Because I just like, you know, didn't want to, didn't feel like grinding more metal for the, for the blanks. Just figured I'll get a little rest and do some fun stuff like that, like that, the Bradley alias. And what I did today, actually I did uh, the titanium little blade for for George, but I'll show that to you later. That's stone washing right now. But I did the new scales for my Victorious for the first one. And I really like this nice elegant JG10. I cleaned up the analyzing on the liners because uh, I'm going to Taftums tomorrow and I'm thinking about doing some really cool analyzing with his new machine. Figured we're probably gonna have fun. So I cleaned it up and I just stone washed it. I don't know if it will show on it probably won't show here. Yeah, it's stone washed nice pretty nicely inside. I stripped the pocket clip color because that one was black. And actually what I it did, it's also stone washing. I did the custom pocket clip, titanium pocket clip. Kind of combine, you know, this is there is a bushing as that works as a spacer uh between the liners here, between the titanium liners. What I actually did, I grabbed a piece of titanium that is exactly the same thickness as that and uh, you know, kind of used it for the same thing as a spacer, but then I bend it. I don't think, I have very little confidence that I will get it working because the bending that titanium clip, uh, it's kind of tricky. So I'm not, I'm not very confident that I will get it done, but I will definitely try. It looks like it might work, so with maybe some tweaking. But if that works, it's gonna be pretty cool because there will be, you know, titanium clip that works also as a standoff in the back, and we'll go around here and down like a pocket clip. So we'll see about that. But I like this. This is just a hint thicker than the original scales, and uh, gets a little better, a little more comfortable. You, it loses the super slick, slick low profile. But uh, not by much, but it's actually pretty comfortable, a little more comfortable. Cool thing is that you actually, on the light, when you look from the back, you see that, you see that uh, lightning hose, which is pretty cool. I like this knife a lot. Like I said, it's, it's one of my favorites. Actually, I think recently I carry this one the most out of everything else. Just elegant, good size, good weight, super light. The best cutter there is, uh, you know, out of the box, and uh, I'm happy with it. Let me know what you think. I think it actually suits it pretty well. Know that JG10, just like cool, elegant looking, I think. And uh, I'm kind of hoping that when I blue anodize liners, probably like some nice dark blue, like Jeff showed yesterday, I'm hoping that it would kind of like glow, not glow, but you know, like get a little bit of that color through the translucent JG10. I think that would be really cool if you can if if we get to see that through that G10. Kinda of like you see the hints of the of the holes. It would be pretty cool if that gets the that blue through a little bit. That would be really cool. Or we'll see what all the other colors you can actually analyze the titanium with his fancy new machine. I'm curious about that. So thanks for watching guys. Take care, stay safe, and remember, don't cut yourself.